On Wikipedia, under cult religious practice, it states in the first few lines, in traditional usage, the cult of a religion, quite apart from its sacred writings, scriptures, its theology or myths, or the personal faith of its believers, is the totality of external religious practice and its observance. Mm -hmm. The neglect of which is the definition of impiety. Cult in this primary sense is literally the care owed to the God and the shrine. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that care is owed to God? Well, firstly, if I could point out that the word cult comes from the Latin cultus and, uh, and which actually literally means care. So the suggestion is that, uh, that all religions need to care for the way in which they worship God. And if they don't care for it, they don't have enough piety and therefore, um, you know, that they are, they are not properly observing that particular religion. So it's interesting, the, the underlying um, word that the word cult comes from is implying that God needs to be cared for. And the reality is that God does not need to be cared for. God is self-caring and self-responsible and God does not need to be cared for. And God isn't seeking our worship. There is this common viewpoint on the planet, I feel, that God is seeking worship and God does not seek worship. God knows herself very well and knows her value and she doesn't need us to, to, um, to support her value or to make her feel better about herself than she already feels. And in fact, the underlying word of cult is implying that. Now, if you look at how the word is used today, it, word is often applied to a cult leader, of which I'm often associated with being one. And if you look at the underlying thing, again, it's like, does a person, one single person, need to be cared for and honoured above all others? And the answer to that is also no. The per, any person who has any degree of self-responsibility and who's any degree of love for themselves does not need to be cared for by any other person and so therefore does not need to be worshipped and does not need to be li even listened to. God doesn't have an investment in us listening to God and any person who is an appropriate spiritual leader would also not have any investment in another person listening to them. Yeah. By appropriate spiritual leader, I mean a spiritual leader who is not invested in other people's opinion of them and who is just yeah. interested in telling the truth. Yeah.